This is SAT test 7, calculator question number 4. College Board is asking you here to evaluate a survey. When they ask you to evaluate or interpret a survey or experiment, these often require very careful reading and take more time than the more computational questions. So it's good to practice these and it's good to take your time on these questions once you get the hang of them. A market researcher selected 200 people at random from a group of people who indicated that they liked a certain book. The 200 people were shown a movie based on the book and asked whether they liked or disliked the movie. Of those surveyed, 95% said they disliked the movie. And this is a survey of people who liked the book. Which of the following inferences can appropriately be drawn from this, this survey result? Choice A, at least 95% of people who go see movies will dislike this movie. Here we're drawing an inference about a larger population than was surveyed. We only surveyed those who liked the book, so we can't conclude that everyone, 95% of everyone who goes to movies will dislike this. Choice B, at least 95% of people who read books will dislike this movie. Again, we only surveyed those who liked this book, not all people who read books, so we can't generalize our conclusion to a larger population than we drew our sample from. Choice C, most people who dislike this book will like this movie. You can't reverse your conclusion. Our survey only tells us about people who liked this book. We can't infer that those who dislike the book will have the reverse reaction. Choice D, most people who like this book, and that is the population we surveyed, will dislike this movie, and that is the conclusion we saw in our survey. So choice D would be the correct answer. Always read very carefully in questions evaluating or interpreting a survey or experiment, and come back soon for my next SAT math video with math there is always more.